Most people seem to have some idea about how more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere causes global warming, something about heat being trapped, but they don't know the whole story. Now, I'm going to try and tell you that full story, but I need to tell you two little bits of physics first. Firstly, if we have an object at a temperature T, then the amount of energy flowing into and out of that object determines whether that temperature changes. So if more energy is flowing in than out, then that temperature increases, whereas if more energy is flowing out than in, then that temperature must decrease. And secondly, any object at temperature T radiates energy out at a rate proportional to the fourth power of its temperature. What that means then is that a really hot object emits an awful lot more energy than a cooler object. So the Earth, as an object, gets all of its energy from the Sun, which as a very hot object emits an awful lot of energy, some of which is light, which we see, and some of which is thermal radiation, which we feel as heat. Now the Earth absorbs some of this radiation and it heats up until the amount of energy which it's radiating out equals the amount of energy which it's absorbing from the Sun. But the Earth, as an object, doesn't radiate with a temperature equal to the average surface temperature of the Earth. This is because while the atmosphere is transparent to radiation with visible wavelengths, light, it's not transparent to radiation with thermal wavelengths, or heat radiation. So thermal radiation given off by the Earth's surface then gets absorbed by the atmosphere just above the surface, which then re-radiates some of that energy, which then gets absorbed by the layer of atmosphere just above that, and so on and so forth. But because the Earth's atmosphere gets thinner the higher you go, eventually you reach a point where energy emitted by a layer in the atmosphere doesn't get absorbed by the atmosphere above it because that atmosphere is just too thin. And so that energy then escapes off to space. That layer's temperature then is the temperature at which the Earth radiates energy out to space. And because the temperature gets lower the higher you go in the atmosphere, that temperature is much lower than the surface temperature of the Earth. So where does CO2 come into all of this? Well, by adding more CO2 into the atmosphere, we're making it even less transparent thermal radiation. And what this means is you then have to go higher in the atmosphere before that thermal radiation can escape off into space. And because the temperature gets colder the higher you go, this means then that the Earth starts to radiate at a lower temperature, which means it starts to radiate less energy. And because the same amount of energy is coming in from the sun, but less is leaving the Earth, the Earth, as an object, has to warm up. And the more CO2 we put into the atmosphere, the more warming we see, and the faster it gets. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I've included some links in the description if you would like to learn more about global warming or climate change.